Greetings and a very warm welcome to another exciting episode of Simply Electric. We're currently here at the Motor Show in Essen to thoroughly explore and see what various exciting options and possibilities are available for tuning electric cars or enhancing their visual appearance. What is the offer? Are there only combustion engines here or are there also really exciting and stylish electric cars? Yes, before we get started, could you please check if you can just if you're not part of the electric community, we'd be thrilled if you supported us with a subscription. Yeah, and then you won't miss such videos in the future either. I'd say, let's get started. Off we go to the Motor Show in Essen. And fortunately, we didn't have to walk very far at all. Already in the first hall, there's an eye-catching Volvo X30, magnificently styled in matte black with a large, impressive diffuser at the front, also with a swan's apron, also nicely done in such a bronze tone, I think it's really chic because the Volvo X30 comes with up to 430 horsepower and it accelerates from zero to 100 in under four seconds. So it absolutely makes sense. To give such a compact and small car a more invigorated and visually refreshed overall look, looks really, really good on the Volvo. And I think Heiko Sportive, which is basically the tuner here, has done an extremely good job, especially when we look at it from the back they didn't just make it really low, but now they've also styled it with a cool rear diffuser, making it really perform beautifully here on the side with the flaps. Instead of Volvo, it says Helco. So I have to say hats off, congratulations. That's just superbly cool. It shows how both the motor show and the tuners are gradually evolving and shifting towards electro mobility. And honestly, I think that's truly and absolutely awesome. Don't let yourselves be confused. This is actually the new Mini in the John Cooper Works model. The front part is designed slightly differently, yet you can get this particular front bumper design for the new Mini electric model as well. And I think it's awesome that AC Schnitzer, who is, so to speak, one of the renowned BMW tuners, is now also opening up to electromobility and offering such stylish side skirts. You can also get this particular wheel for the Mini Electric. When I show you the rear section soon, you won't only spot an attractive rear spoiler, Stefan, wouldn't you agree with that? That's indeed quite genuinely classy. You can also have it on the Mini Electric model as well. Moreover, you essentially have the option to choose a different rear diffuser here too. What you unfortunately can't get for the Mini Electric, of course, is the exhaust silencers because we don't need them in electric mobility. There will indeed be a closed off variant of it but I think it's extremely cool, the AC Schnitzer. As the new Mini Electric also has plans, here alternatively, you can clearly see a glossy black rim as well. I see progress as well, even among the home tuners, that they are opening up to electromobility. We are visiting Hankook, and Hankook is not only showcasing the old Audi e-tron GT, which has just received a facelift and model update, but also the matching tires to either drive particularly efficiently in the summer or winter, or with all season tires in an electric vehicle, or simply to enjoy more dynamic and sporty driving with an electric car. And for that, there are special tire compounds that are specifically designed to ensure this. We also showed you this in Oschersleben with the Porsche Taycan 4 Cross Turismo, which is supposed to perform on the racetrack there as well, despite the higher weight. Of course, we also have completely different forces acting on the tires. And there we naturally need tire compounds that can withstand these forces in order to maintain high cornering speeds for as long as possible with the increased weight. Yes, very, very stylish. Also, so to speak, the first model of the Audi e-tron GT, which has received a really thick fat lowering. There wasn't much space left. It's sitting nicely down here on the asphalt and I'd really like to get a feel for how the tires perform, trying them out a bit here on the streets of Essen. And without the intention of advertising for Hankook, you can see here once again the Ion Evo Plus, which has been specially developed for electric mobility. And right next to it, you can find the model designed for winter conditions. That's just a nice story or even an all season tire. So you have all the possibilities, including at Hankook, up to a tire that's specifically designed for SUVs. To find something suitable there, it's all about rolling resistance to naturally increase the range and efficiency of your electric car for you. And at the Motor Show in Essen, 
you will naturally find alloy wheels in every size, every color and every variation where you're able to further personalize and creatively customize your electric vehicle just a bit more. I think it's kind of a cool story that an electric car isn't always just rolling around with the standard aerodynamic wheels, but can also be a bit more performance oriented. Sporty could potentially be tailored to suit everyone's taste. Stefan has been wishing for a new company car for quite some time. He wants to get away from his Opel Combo e-Cargo and I found something special for him that just adds a bit of bling bling and more bling bling. That would be something, right? It's, whoa, it's just amazing. Then maybe the winter version in summer would be like a tricycle, right? Yeah, with some nice little stones placed on it. It's just a really cool idea of how you can enhance and beautify vehicles in such a unique way. And whether this will eventually really catch on and become reality, for a car like this to be driving on the roads, we will definitely have to keep a close watch on things. We're at my steering wheel and my steering wheel is all about making your steering wheel look really stylish and sleek again. All too often we see steering wheels that are a bit worn out or especially in electromobility, we have a lot of faux leather that starts to swell up a bit. In most cases, it's usually caused by hand cream or other substances as they simply react to those materials. You can customize your steering wheel, not to advertise, for 270 to 330 euros as you like it. So basically you choose a seam the way you want it, uh, also with the corresponding color or multicolored. Here's an example of a nice cross stitch. And then you can just say, hey, I want a cool steering wheel with nice leather on top and Alcantara on the sides. You have the option to basically choose between a very deep dark gray and an elegant anthracite Alcantara material. Or you might say, hey, I'd prefer plain leather with perforated leather. There's also the option available to design the leather in an extensive selection of different colors. So if you ever find yourself in need of a brand new and customized steering wheel, simply head over to mine Lenkrad, drop by. Of course, one who can't miss the motor show in Essen is JP Performance with a nice large booth. If we take a theoretical perspective, one could argue that the big boost burger here might just as well have been an electric up, right? Yeah, why not? Because it probably would have had a significantly stronger boost than the regular series up. But honestly, it looks quite nice, doesn't it? Definitely. So I think whoever wants to upgrade their electric up will likely find a solution at JP Performance too. JP has transformed a Volvo 850 by electrifying it, which means he now refers to it as the Volto 850 and naturally he has enhanced its performance accordingly. Here there are Tesla flat motors installed from the Porsche Taycan battery packs plus a corresponding control unit. And so this car naturally has massive power. I would guess it feels like over 1000 horsepower. And Stefan is able to show you the battery packs a bit. In the back you essentially see painted the turntable drive beautifully in yellow. So that's obviously a mega mega cool story. And then JP thought, oh, let's go ahead and install some racing seats and probably even incorporate a cockpit from the Polestar as well. Somehow everything here is mixed together in a way that's really, really cool and awesome. And feel free to write in the comments whether the Volto 850 might be your next dream electric speedster. I believe I'd be interested in that, don't you think? Definitely, yes. Where you have an absolute expert as well for Tesla vehicles, among other things, is Silent Driver. I mean, there is also a YouTube channel with that particular name where Teslas in particular are extensively tuned. They receive high performance brakes, upgraded suspensions and even racing seats installed, as well as roll cages, some extremely awesome carbon add-ons located right down here, then on the apron and also right here at the air curtains. That's quite an intriguing story demonstrating how you can transform a regular Tesla Model 3 into a high-performance machine, enabling a lot more than just drifting and going sideways, enhancing the overall driving experience. But where you can really immerse yourself in the thrill and excitement of having tons of racing fun on the track, Stefan will record inside there for you, so be sure to take time to explore and appreciate the fantastic work by the excellent colleagues at Silent Drive. At the back, there's a nice wing, a bit different, tail lights in a beautiful SpaceX design. And of course, what also must be included is a nice carbon rear diffuser at the end. Silent Drive carries an array of cool items and elegantly crafted rims, allowing your Tesla to stand out uniquely and impressively on the road. At Grail, we need to take a short detour from electromobility since many of you still have a combustion engine at home. 
and partly they don't have such a great sound anymore due to OPF and other systems, I discovered something quite noteworthy at Grail. They offer an exceptional exhaust system for the 911 that significantly enhances the boxer sound, making it impressively loud, but legal and that's pretty cool. At the Essen Motor Show, of course, great cars are on display and they've set up a nice promotion stage here where the Skoda Enyaq RS is currently being showcased. Yes, and somehow our NIO EL8 also made it into the hall, but in a different exterior color, Stefan, right? I don't get it at all. We parked outside, but no, that's not it. Yeah, so definitely feel free to check out the NEO EL8 video soon, where we also took the road trip here to the Essen Motor Show to many other amazing cars. So make a note of the road trip with the impressive NIO EL8 in your calendar. When choosing between a combustion engine or an electric version, the option is yours with a Lego Technic car offering customization. You definitely want to have the parts list for that car. Absolutely, because you could build it nicely and then electrify it, right? There you imagine the beautiful affection. Yes, well, Lego has really shown that they don't just make small replicas that we can assemble together in the living room, but also that you can construct a vehicle in an impressively larger size by utilizing the versatile Lego Technic pieces. Kind of cool, right? Awesome. For the first time at the Essen Motor Show is Build Your Dream BYD. We recently gave you a preview of the latest model, the Sea Lion. Be sure to check it out in the playlist for additional information. And you have also displayed the BYD U9 at the Essen Motor Show during this year's event. It is essentially a super sports car powered exclusively by battery electric power. And that's essentially how BYD showcases the cutting edge of innovation. What's truly achievable when you wish to move efficiently? I'd really love to take an amazing supercar for a spin. Absolutely, very gladly. We definitely need to get around to filming a thorough review on it soon and give you guys a much closer look. Because I truly think that you can quite easily and comfortably fit it very nicely into the garage alongside a SEAL, a SEAL U, or of course a SEAL line. So BYD is showing off what they can do in the sports segment. In the meantime, we've managed to gather the technical specifications for the U9. There are four electric motors with over 1,300 horsepower. It has an 80 kilowatt hour battery since it's not all about maximum range, but rather also maximum performance. 500 kilowatts, it should be able to recharge 30 to 80% in 10 minutes. It's nearly reaching the kind of convenience and efficiency we have become accustomed to at a typical gas station pump. Let's take a look because it will also hit the German market. I guess it will probably cost around a quarter of a million. Gray imports are on mobile.d. So some daily practicality is needed, Stefan, right? Absolutely, yes. I'd say let's take a look in the trunk of the U9. And that's the convenient thing about the U9, that you always have a nice place to put things, like when you grab a nice burger at the chemist's. Yes, we want to take a look in the trunk of the U9 together. And naturally, we have plenty of space available for a weekend getaway, allowing us to comfortably fit in two nice, spacious travel bags. The best part is whatever opens electrically, Stefan, also closes electrically. That's just how it should be in any case. The harbor's always... How amazing does the U9 look from the back? I feel like I'm in a double cockpit here. Stefan has his own area on the passenger side. We have a nice grippy steering wheel, lots and lots of beautiful carbon. Here in the interior, there's also a different grain pattern. Well, that's super spacey. I definitely like that, yeah? It's got something. And if we consider how modest Build Your Dreams is, the factory spec for acceleration is zero to 100 in two and a half seconds. Naturally, we were informed by the experts at BYD that it is capable of accelerating in less than 2.5 seconds. And the coolest piece of news is actually, Stefan, that we might even have the wonderful opportunity to ride this U9 together sometime in the year 2025. What do you think about that? I'm really looking forward to it if it works out. So write in the comments if maybe a U9 would be sensational for you. I know the price is obviously huge, but it would be really cool if we had those electric super tracks, sports cars driving around on the bustling streets here in Germany. And yes, we absolutely do not have any sort of window at the rear. It is entirely closed off. There we have, in principle, the digital rear view mirror. 
and we already know that BYD can win awards. We had the opportunity to win the ED1000 with the SEAL and this naturally helps bridge the gap to the other impressive vehicles from BYD. That means here at the booth you can experience the SEAL Line 7 and of course the Silju DMI where you can drive over 1000 kilometers with a plug-in hybrid. Be sure to visit the Motor Show Essen at the BYD booth and you'll be able to see our lovely ED1000 award. Here in Hall 3 at the Motor Show in Essen, there's also a mixed area showcasing almost exclusively electric cars from NIO, from Kia and many others. Chaopeng is included as the G6 performance is coming to us soon and there you can also learn more about various manufacturers including Lieb Motors regarding electromobility. At the Motor Show in Essen you can also find Skoda and Skoda is showcasing here not only the latest models like the L-Rock which we already presented to you at the Auto Zurich. Feel free to take a look at the video from Auto Zurich in the timeline but they are also showcasing the Enyaq RS race. Stefan, we should definitely take a thorough look around it. This is undoubtedly the most high performance version that you could imagine in this context. And where you can also demonstrate that theoretically, with a Skoda Enyaq Coupe, if you keep it nice and low to the ground, you can probably experience a bit of exhilarating motorsport fun, right? You can already experience a bit of performance, yes. And of course, Skoda has once again created a nice loading counter for us at the back, which is probably more about aerodynamic values. That's quite a wing, isn't it? It sure is substantial. If you then take a closer look at the fender flares and then also at the rear diffuser, then you can definitely get the impression that Skoda Motorsport is approaching the RS race with quite a serious intent indeed. Because about the size, right? Yeah, it's crazy. I'm 1.85 meters tall and this thing is definitely over two meters high. Yes, you need Velcro for that. Unfortunately, it's not fully electric yet, but it's somehow associated with Harley-Davidson. At least it says so on the side. And it's definitely, I believe, a genuinely massive and impressively built American pickup truck. Really hope you'll get it in an electric version soon, right? Yes, absolutely. We have finally arrived at hall number one, and you can see there are lots of classic vehicles here too. Beginning with the earliest classics, which refer to the very oldest models, and continuing all the way through to vintage cars and young timers alike, you'll discover everything you need right here in Hall 1. It's incredibly exciting to me because as a passionate car enthusiast, you truly gain a fantastic overview of how vehicles simply sports cars have experienced a great deal of evolution over the years. At the Essen Motor Show, you'll encounter not just expertly tuned cars, but a wide variety designed to meet every conceivable taste and suit all age groups. A favorite for tuning at this show is definitely the Tesla Model Y and Tesla Model 3 vehicles. And it's not just nicely pink, but also nice and deep. Look, Stefan, it also got a really thick, fat brake system with such a purple brake pads that does look chic, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got something. Here's something else. I suspect that perhaps a change of year might bring the successor to the Model Y, the Unipa, to the market here in Germany in the new year. There are already many rumors that construction is already happening in China. And yes, I'm curious to see what modifications Tesla has in store. But what kind of impressive beauty is this old SL, please? Not just because of the color, such a stunning copper, metallic but also nicely with the big chunky BBS wheels on it. Nice with the checkered simple pattern and the field pillow. Yeah, and that's just awesome, isn't it? Nice metal, huh? If we think about how we used to build cars with such care in the past, you don't always see that in the new cars, right? Not anymore, huh? That's a completely different style. A classic like that would actually fit in my garage too. What do you mean? Oh yes, I think that would look like it there. And with that, we've also reached the end of our tour of the Essen Motor Show. And I have to say, I'm really impressed. Absolutely, there's something for e-mobility as well. That's really nice. And the fact that automakers like Skoda or even BYD choose to attend a motor show to present their derivatives, especially the electric ones, is quite bold indeed. But it also clearly shows that a gradual and steady transformation is taking place with ever-growing frequency. 
The motor show starts with the video's release and likely runs another week. If you're here in North Rhine-Westphalia, feel free to head over, take a look at the individual stands. I believe there's an incredible amount to explore and discover there. And with that being said, we've come to the conclusion of today's video segment. I hope you thoroughly enjoyed watching the first Motor Show video. Kindly give it a thumbs up. Please check if you're part of the driving electric community. If not, we would of course be happy. If you support us with a subscription, then hopefully you won't miss such great reports in the future. And indeed, we will now be getting into the NIO EL8 test vehicle and effectively bring our road trip to Neustrelitz to a close. The video will very soon be available on the channel where you swap batteries instead of charging. Yes, Stefan? Right, swapping is the new loading. Feel free to check out the videos.